you go. Hello. This is my uh, review of a 2012. It's the second in a series for the 2012 Jeep Liberty. It has, I like I already mentioned this, it has the keyless entry plus a key entry, so in case, I guess in case your key dies, it still works. Still haven't figured out how to get the hood open, so I'm going to have to figure that one out. It seems to have the V6 in it. It's pretty nice. Let's see how many miles are on this. I didn't even pay attention when I picked it up. I haven't driven this a lot. I did do a little bit of driving on, uh, as far as four-wheel drive driving. Last night, I decided to take it for a drive. It seems to work fine, but I mean, there's just not a lot of four-wheel drive space around here. It's very difficult to find four-wheel drive space. I want to do this method. Radio works fine. Just have to... Just a minute, I have to but pull my seatbelt. So now take a drive. Let's see if we can get out without the mirrors are pretty good again. You know. You can see the mirrors fairly well, back up pretty easily. Um, of course, it does help that I'm, I have an old Cherokee, which is almost the same size. I would say this is about the same size as the old style Cherokee, maybe the Grand Cherokee. Um, it doesn't have as fancy a thing. Let's just go straight through here. It's been a while. It picks up pretty good uh, with the V6. Um, if I get a, if I find a road that has enough space, I'll try to do a zero to sixty time on here. Um, last night it does have traction control, and so I was trying out uh, four wheel drive. Basically, I'm hoping to find some place to test out four wheel drive today. And there's dirt, but that's not really four wheel drive. That's just dirt. So. So far, I've been pretty happy with it. Uh, it's very fairly quiet. It's not quite as quiet as some cars. It does have a, a tight transmission. I, mean, you can, I don't know if you can hear that, but it it uh, seems to... When, when it kicks down, it kicks down pretty hard. Uh, I did the four-wheel drive switch here. Um, it's... I'm, maybe I'm just too much of an old Jeep guy. I like it when it kicks in hard and I can feel it shift into something. Um, it sort of seems weird to me to have the, the little s electrical switch that actually p kicks it into gear. So um, It's not bad, but it just maybe it's just something that I need to get used to is it, for newer cars. My other Jeeps, you can feel it engage. This one, you put it engage and it's pretty seamless. Um, there's a nice, nice old Ford. Um, oh, this is a stop sign. I guess I better stop. And somebody's coming. It's a bad angle for this corner. All right, I'm hoping to head out of town and find out, find something, or at least find a. That's another thing. This heater seems to work very well. Um, it's a very hot heater. It actually, when it starts getting warm, it actually gets really warm. And it, well, you've seen it's already getting warm. That's how fast it heated up. So the heater actually works very good. I haven't tested the air conditioner. Haven't really needed it this time of year, of course. Um, so what we're going to do is hopefully we'll find a place to actually be able to speed up. It handles pretty good on the highway. I've, when I was coming here, I drove it about 50 miles. Um, but it's a fairly plain interior, but it works. It's functional. It's definitely functional. Um, uh, 
I don't know what the the specifications are on it uh, as far as highway mileage that type. My guess is it's a, not. It's going to be like any small SUV. It's going to have a little bit of issues because of the high profile and wind resistance issues. Um, it also has a very tight transmission, which tells me it'll probably affect its cruising uh, mileage because you can't just let it roll. It's. I think they've made this automatic transmission kick in pretty hard so that when you are four-wheeling, it will actually resist. The engine will help brake the car instead of instead of uh, having it roll down a hill too fast. My other old Cherokee, it just whizzes right down a hill if you're not careful. So I think they were trying to fix that little issue. Um, but, I mean, so far, I guess if I was in the... Um, if I was in the market for four-wheel drive, I, I definitely would look at this one. This seem, It seems like a pretty nice car. It seems fairly built, solid. It doesn't seem like chintzy. And it, was, it does not feel like a, a small four-wheel drive like some of the, like, well, for instance, like that Honda ahead of me. Those sort of feel like a little car with four-wheel drive to it, you know, or like Subarus uh, sort of feel. They feel like a car with four-wheel drive. So it does not feel like that. It actually feels like an actual it's, it actually feels like an, the old style Jeeps, even though it is uh, independent front suspension. So, it says keep right. So, I guess I'm keeping right. Wherever I'm going, I'm going. We'll see what happens. Hope I can get back to where I'm going. <laughs> There's 40. I'm hoping to find some dirt roads to actually do some testing of four-wheel drive a little bit better. Because I didn't have a chance to test it last time. So let's see how quick it speeds up. Ooh, wow. This guy pulled right in front of me. <laughs> so it does pretty good. I'll put some more videos up. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I can say about this right now. The brakes seem to work. It doesn't do any weird pulling. or See, now this is does not look like the old one. It's bigger than the old one if you park right next to the old Liberty. So, this is closer to the size of the older Cherokee rather than the, the, that Liberty there. Um, that one, I drove one of those and it seemed more like a little car. This one actually feels more like a, a Jeep to me, to be honest. It's a little bit square in the front end, but then again, so is the old Cherokee, I guess, <laughs> what I usually drive. So, uh, again, it has some nice room in the back. Um... I will take some more videos when it, hopefully I can find some four-wheel drive to play with. And we'll see what happens. Thanks. Thanks for watching.